The Tibetic languages Tibetan are a cluster of Sino-Tibetan languages descended from Old Tibetan, spoken across a wide area of eastern Central Asia bordering the Indian subcontinent, including the Tibetan Plateau and the Himalayas in Baltistan, Ladakh, Nepal, Sikkim, Bhutan and Arunachal Pradesh. Classical Tibetan is a major regional literary language, particularly for its use in Buddhist literature. The Central Tibetan language the dialects of Yusang, including Lhasa, Kams Tibetan, and Amdu Tibetan are generally considered to be dialects of a single language, especially since they all share the same literary language, while Dzongkha, Sikkimese, Sherpa, Ladakhi, and Balti are generally considered to be separate languages. Tibetic languages are spoken by some six million people. With the worldwide spread of Tibetan Buddhism, the Tibetan language has spread into the Western world and can be found in many Buddhist publications and prayer materials, with some Western students learning the language for translation of Tibetan texts. Outside Lhasa itself, Lhasa Tibetan is spoken by approximately 200,000 exile speakers who have moved from modern-day Tibet to India and other countries. Tibetan is also spoken by groups of ethnic minorities in Tibet who have lived in close proximity to Tibetans for centuries, but nevertheless retain their own languages and cultures. Although some of the Chang peoples of Kham are classified by China as ethnic Tibetans see or Gyalrongic languages, or Gyalring people are identified as Tibetan in China, Changjik languages are not Tibetic, but rather form their own branch of the Sino-Tibetan language family. Classical Tibetan was not a tonal language, but some varieties such as Central and Kams Tibetan have developed tone registers. Amdu and Ladakhi Balti are without tone. Tibetic morphology can generally be described as agglutinative. Languages <laughs> 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 Nicholas Turnadra describes the language situation of Tibetan as follows, based on my 20 years of field work throughout the Tibetan language area and on the existing literature, I estimate that there are 220 Tibetan dialects derived from Old Tibetan and nowadays spread across five countries, China, India, Bhutan, Nepal and Pakistan which may be classed within 25 dialect groups, i.e. groups which do not allow mutual intelligibility. The notion of dialect group is equivalent to the notion of language but does not entail any standardization. Thus if we set aside the notion of standardization, I believe it would be more appropriate to speak of 25 languages derived from Old Tibetan. This is not only a terminological issue but it gives an entirely different perception of the range of variation. When we refer to 25 languages, we make clear that we are dealing with a family comparable in size to the Romance family which has 19 groups of dialects. The 25 languages include a dozen major dialect clusters Central Tibetan Yusang, Kams, Chamdo, Sichuan, Qinghai, Yunnan, Amdu, Qinghai, Gansu, Sichuan, Choni, Gansu, Sichuan, Ladakhi, Jammu and Kashmir, Balti, Gilgit Baltistan, Burig, Jammu and Kashmir, Lahuli Spiti, Himachal Pradesh, Zongka, Bhutan, Sikkimese, Sikkim, Sherpa, Nepal, Tibet, Kiering Kagate, Nepal, Tibet, and another dozen minor clusters or single dialects, mostly spoken by a few hundred to a few thousand people. Jural, Nepal, Chakangaka, Bhutan, Laka, Bhutan, Brakat, Bhutan, Brokpa, Bhutan, Grama, Tibet, Zonggu, Sichuan, G Serpa, Sichuan, Kalong, Sichuan, Dongwang, Yunnan, Zitsadegu, Sichuan, and Drugchu, Gansu. In addition, there is Bema, which retains an apparent Changjik substratum, and has multiple layers of borrowing from Amdu, Kams, and Zonggu, but does not correspond to any established branch of Tibetic. The more divergent dialects such as this are spoken in the north and east near the Changjik and Urgyalrongic languages, and some, such as Kalong, may also be due to language shift. The Tibetic languages used for broadcasting within China are Standard Tibetan based on the Yu dialect of Lhasa and used as a lingua franca throughout Yu Sang, Kams and Amdu. Topic. Classification Topic. Turnadra 2014. Turnadra 2014 classifies the Tibetic languages as follows. Northwestern, Ladakhi, Zanskari, Balti, Perki Western, Spiti, Garza, Kunu, Jad Central, Yu, Sang, Fenpo, Loka, Tu, Kongpo 
Southwestern, Sherpa and Jural, other languages, dialects along the Sino-Nepalese border, Humla, Magu, Dalpo, Lo K, Nubri, Sum, Langtang, Kiering, Yolmo, Gyalsumdo, Kagate, El Homi, Walling, and Tokpi Gola. Southern, Zonka, Drangjong, Samang, Dromo Laka, Dur Brakat, Mara Saktang Brokpa K. Southeastern, Hor Nagchu, Hor Bachan, Yushu, Pembar, Rongdrak, Minyak, Zail, Durong Jol, Chaktring, Muli Dapa, Semki Naida, other Kams dialects. Northern root dialects, Chamdo, Chab Mdo, Durj, Sdedge, and Kans. Southern root dialects, Markham, Smar Kams, Bathang, Bathang, Lithang, Lithang. Eastern, Drugchu, Kapokak, The Wo, Chon, Bema, Sharkak, Palki, Pashi, and Zongu, other Kams dialects. Northeastern, Amdu, G Serpa, Kalong. Topic. Turnidra, 2005, 2008. Turnidra, 2005, classifies the Tibetic languages as follows. Central Tibetan. The basis of standard Tibetan that includes various Nepalese varieties Kams Amdu Zonka Loka Zonka, Sikkimese, Laka, Naapa, Chakangaka, Brakat, Brokpa and probably Grama Ladakhi Balti Ladakhi, Burig, Zanskari, Balti Lahuli Spiti Kiaring Kagate Sherpa Jural Sherpa, Jurel the other languages, the Wo Chon, Zonggu, Kalong, Dongwang, Ji Serpa, Zitsadegu, Drugchu, Bema are not mutually intelligible, but are not known well enough to classify. Turnidra 2013 adds T Seku and Kamba to Kams, and groups the Wo Chon, Zonggu, Bema as an eastern branch of Tibetic. Topic. Bradley 1997. According to Bradley, the languages cluster as follows Dialect information from the Tibetan Dialects Project at the University of Bern Western Archaic Tibetan non-tonal, including Ladakhi, Balti and Burig Amdu Tibetan including the Wo Chon non-tonal Kams Tibetan tonal Western Innovative Tibetan Lahuli Spiti slightly tonal Dialects of Upper Ladakh and Zanskar, of the northwest Indian border area Lahal and Spiti district and Uttarakhand, and of Zanda County westernmost Tibet Central Tibetan slightly tonal Most dialects of Nari Prefecture in western Tibet, of the northern Nepalese border area in Nepal, Sang dialects of Shigatse Prefecture, and U dialects Loka, Lhasa, etc. The basis of standard Tibetan Northern Tibetan slightly tonal Dialects of Gurs, of Nagka Prefecture in north-central Tibet, and of Nankan County in South Qinghai considered dialects of Kams by Turnidra. Southern Tibetan slightly tonal Grama language of Chumbi Valley in southern Sang, Sikkimese in India, Sherpa and Jural in Nepal, and various languages of Bhutan, Zonka, Brakat, Brokpa, Chakangaka, Laka, Laya dialect, Lunana dialect, other some classifications group Kams and Amdu together as Eastern Tibetan not to be confused with East Bodish, whose speakers are not ethnically Tibetan. Some, like Turnidra, break up Central Tibetan. Phrases such as Central Tibetan and Central Bodish may or may not be synonymous. Southern Central Tibetan can be found as Southern Bodish, for example, Central Tibetan may mean D bus or all tonal lects apart from Kams. Western Bodish may be used for the non tonal Western lects while Western Tibetan is used for the tonal lects, or Bodish may even be used for other branches of the Tibeto Kanauri languages. Topic. Writing systems Most Tibetic languages are written in one of two Indic scripts. Standard Tibetan and most other Tibetic languages are written in the Tibetan script with a historically conservative orthography see below that helps unify the Tibetan language area. Some other Tibetan languages in India and Nepal are written in the related Devanagari script, which is also used to write Hindi, Nepali and many other languages. However, some Ladakhi and Balti speakers write with the Urdu script, this occurs almost exclusively in Pakistan. The Tibetan script fell out of use in Pakistani Baltistan hundreds of years ago upon the region's adoption of Islam. 
However, increased concern among Balti people for the preservation of their language and traditions, especially in the face of strong Punjabi cultural influence throughout Pakistan, has fostered renewed interest in reviving the Tibetan script and using it alongside the Arabic Persian script. Many shops in Baltistan's capital Skardu in Pakistan's northern areas region have begun supplementing signs written in the Arabic Persian script with signs written in the Tibetan script. Baltis see this initiative not as separatist but rather as part of an attempt to preserve the cultural aspects of their region which has shared a close history with neighbors like Kashmiris and Punjabis since the arrival of Islam in the region many centuries ago. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historical phonology. Old Tibetan phonology is rather accurately rendered by the script. The finals were pronounced devoiced although they are written as voiced, the prefix letters assimilated their voicing to the root letters. The graphic combinations R and LH represent voiceless and not necessarily aspirate correspondences to R and L respectively. The letter was pronounced as a voiced guttural fricative before vowels but as homorganic prenasalization before consonants. Whether the GIGU verso had phonetic meaning or not remains controversial. For instance, Srongbitisan Skampo would have been pronounced Sropan Zampo now pronounced SMPO in Lhasa Tibetan and Babs would have been pronounced M Baps pronounced Bap in Lhasa Tibetan. Already in the 9th century the process of cluster simplification, devoicing and tonogenesis had begun in the central dialects can be shown with Tibetan words transliterated in other languages, particularly Middle Chinese but also Uyghur. The concurrence of the evidence indicated above enables us to form the following outline of the evolution of Tibetan. In the 9th century, as shown by the bilingual Tibetan Chinese Treaty of 821-822 found in front of Lhasa's Jokhang, the complex initial clusters had already been reduced, and the process of tonogenesis was likely well underway. The next change took place in Sang, GT Sang dialects, the Ra tags were altered into retroflex consonants, and the Ya tags became palatals. Later on the superscribed letters and finals D and S disappeared, except in the East and West. It was at this stage that the language spread in Lahul and Spiti, where the superscribed letters were silent, the D and G finals were hardly heard, and as, OS, US were I, OI, UI. The words introduced from Tibet into the border languages at that time differ greatly from those introduced at an earlier period. The other changes are more recent and restricted to U and Sang. In U, the vowel sounds A, O, U have now mostly umlauted to A, O, U when followed by the coronal sounds I, D, S, L and N. The same holds for Sang with the exception of L which merely lengthens the vowel. The medials have become aspirate tenues with a low intonation, which also marks the words having a simple initial consonant, while the former aspirates and the complex initials simplified in speech are uttered with a high tone, shrill and rapidly. Topic. Reconstruction Proto-Tibetic Proto-Tibetic, the hypothetical proto-language ancestral to the Tibetic languages, has been reconstructed by Turnadra Proto-Tibetic is similar to, but not identical to, written classical literary Tibetan. The following phonological features are characteristic of Proto-Tibetic The prefixes asterisk s, asterisk d, per gram, asterisk m, and asterisk b, which have been retained from Proto-Tibeto-Burman, asterisk s, is primarily used with animals and body parts, as well as asterisk d, asterisk g, and asterisk m, asterisk r, Palatalization of dental and alveolar consonants before y, j. Consonant change from lateral to dental position after per meter, e.g., asterisk ml greater than asterisk md. Distinctive aspirated initial stops. This phenomenon is attested by alternating aspirated and non-aspirated consonants in Old Tibetan orthography. Examples include gcig tilde g chig, tilde, 1, fian chad tilde fian cad, tilde, from now on, see tilde chi, tilde, what, and see you tilde chu, tilde, water. Reconstructed Proto Tibetic forms from Turnadra include Pre Tibetic 
Pre-Tibetic is a hypothetical pre-formation stage of Proto-Tibetic. Asterisk Tai, Asterisk Li, Asterisk Sai were not palatalized in Pre-Tibetic, but underwent palatalization in Proto-Tibetic. 2014 to 113 minus 114. Posited sound changes from Pre-Tibetic to Proto-Tibetic include Asterisk Tai greater than Asterisk, Asterisk Sai greater than Asterisk, Asterisk Tsy greater than Asterisk, and Asterisk Li greater than Asterisk. However, Turnidra 2014 -114 notes that many Bodish languages such as Basim, Tamung, and Kirtop East Bodish have not undergone these changes e.g., Bake Basim T what versus Proto-Tibetic asterisk H I and Bake 1 versus Proto-Tibetic asterisk G H Ik Kirtop HLA iron and Bumthap Lock iron versus Proto-Tibetic asterisk tax some pre-Tibetic reconstructions, along with reconstructed Proto-Tibetic forms and orthographic classical literary Tibetan, from Turnidra 2014 are listed below. References Further reading Bayer, Stefan V. The Classical Tibetan Language. Sunni Press. ISBN 0-7914-1099-4. Denwood, Philip Tibetan. John Benjamin's Publishing. ISBN 90-272-3803-0. Denwood, Philip The Language History of Tibetan. In Roland Bielmeyer, Felix Haller. Linguistics of the Himalayas and Beyond. Walter de Gruyter pp. 47-70. ISBN 3-11-019828-2, CS1 maint, uses editor's parameter link. Van Driem, George 2001. Languages of the Himalayas, an ethnolinguistic handbook of the Greater Himalayan region containing an introduction to the symbiotic theory of language. Brill. ISBN 9004103902. AHP 43 Amdu Tibetan language Topic. External links Comparative Dictionary of Tibetan Dialects CDTD. Languages on the Tibetan Plateau and the Himalayas — Nicholas Turnidra Overview of Old Tibetan Synchronic Phonology by Nathan Hill L'évolution des langues et les facteurs écolinguistiques, le cas des langues de l'avures et des langues d'agricultures sur le hot plateau tibétain at CNRS LACITO China's Tibet policy continued attempt at erasing Tibetan language